With your new and ideal knife class setups, you're now feeling confident. Surely nothing can stop you now. So you head into a game immediately, smiling as the loading screen does its thing. You're going to dominate this lobby, hit some big kill streaks, and have a moment or two like this. Unfortunately, you find out quick that this isn't your reality. Reality is harsh, cold, unforgiving. It shatters your expectations almost instantly. This is your new reality. As I warned in my last video, you are literally bringing a knife to a gunfight. This isn't supposed to be easy. In order for you to truly stand a chance, it's time for you now to put some thought into another key skill that every knifer needs to possess, your movement. As a knife only player, you are anything but orthodox. You are now the definition of unorthodox. And as such, you need to play this game in an entirely new way. Leave the standard attacks and standard strategies to those standard buffoons, who only know how to use shotguns and mines. You must ascend beyond that style of gameplay now. And this starts with your movement. How often must I tell you? Control my central line. Walls, tight spaces, and corners. These are now your three best friends. Each one offers you something as a knifer that you need. Tight spaces are your best friend. This allows you to primarily only have to focus on what's directly in front of you. And you'll have the advantage in a tight space nearly every time. In this footage being shown, you can see that I am doing my best to stick to the tight spaces of the map. What's also great about tight spaces is you'll generally only have to worry about dealing with one enemy at a time. If you find yourself in anything but a tight space or corridor, you need to instantly make it your priority to get to one. Movement outside of a tight space is trickier, but this is where walls come in. Move alongside either the outermost parts of the map or by pinning yourself up against a wall. Walls will remove a large part of the radius you'd normally have to worry about being exposed. This will limit the areas you need to worry about being attacked from. Should you find yourself not in a tight space and not up against a wall, your chances of winning a confrontation drop drastically. But remember, you are an unorthodox player now, and if you can remember that, then all hope may not be lost. When exposed without a tight space, corner, or wall to cover you, fight to the death and use the unorthodox. And let's not forget about corners. As a knifer, there are many ways to use corners to your advantage. If someone is shooting you from behind, duck around a corner and wait for them to chase you. Nine times out of ten, they'll chase you around the corner and you'll pull off that near-death kill by knifing them in the face. In that case, the hunter became the hunted. This will probably be the primary way you'll use corners as a knifer. Remember, corners are usually sharp just like your knives. That's why they complement each other so well. Corners should regularly be worked into your patrol routes as they create what I call the L movement. Just like a knight on a chessboard, the L movement is the most unique and can set up some amazing ambushes and near death kills. There may come points in time where this strategy may make gameplay feel slow. Depending upon what kind of lobby or game mode you're in, you may have a game where sticking to that usual tight part of the map you default to isn't yielding you any results. This is why it's important to have your first kill streak be the UAV. The UAV will tell you where the enemies are and in turn guide you to where you should be moving. As both your knowledge of the maps in this game and your movement skills increase over time, You'll be able to run a UAV and select which kills are the appropriate ones for you to go after and which ones aren't. Remember, part of moving around the map is knowing what enemies you should and shouldn't go after, 
Just because you see an enemy doesn't mean you should try and kill them. A smart knifer chooses their targets carefully. The ability to do this is invaluable. You must have fear, surprise, and intimidation on your side. For if any one element is lacking, it would be best for you to retreat. A part of knowing how to move around as a knifer is knowing when to move away, and at times, retreat. This can be a bitter pill to swallow at times, but have faith in the process and in your strategies. If you do not have the element of surprise on your side, then retreating is probably the best option. Remember, retreating is only a temporary tactic in this game. You're not using it to be a coward, you're using it because you are smarter than the overconfident, trigger-happy enemy. Let them laugh at you running away in that moment. They think they've won. But as I stated earlier, retreat around the nearest corner and let them chase you. Almost every single time, they will. And they'll laugh all the way around the corner until you stab them in the throat. Proper movement for a knifer is a critical skill to have. It requires a great deal of practice, patience, and time to perfect. The strategies provided today are not the only way to go about movement as a knifer. There is far more to cover on this topic than can be fit into one video. In almost every case, your movement and how you should go about it is completely relative to your situation at that time. It's case by case. There are also way more in-depth strategies involved with moving around efficiently that I'll have to cover in another video. But the strategies covered today are the general ones you'll need to develop a leg up on the gun-toting competition out there. Take these strategies, use them in confidence, and you'll be well on your way to dominating lobbies and putting together awe-inspiring knife-only killstreaks.